Problem number 37. How should black attack white stones up at the top here? Black's move is to go here. And this is similar to the mouth shape. This is threatening to cut through here. So in order to prevent that, white will bump into the stone here. This exposes some of black's weaknesses. So black will fix. And then white will ensure that this cut is not a problem by going here. But then black's going to jump here. And now white is without eyes and will have to run to the center. If instead of bumping into this stone, white makes the empty triangle here, black will still make shape. And similar to before, white does not have any eyes, and so white will need to defend this group. Uh, white would love to do a 3-3 invasion here, or even one of these two invasions over here. But white is going to have to focus on protecting this group. And meanwhile, black can use this influence to tightly pincer white's other group down here. Uh, comparing black's move here to trying to cut through directly, white will take the point himself, and now white does not have any trouble maintaining that connection, and even getting some eye space out of it. White is a lot stronger in this position than before. If instead of bumping here, black tries pushing this way, white will just extend. And if black keeps going, white's going to do the same thing. And while white is extending this way, white is aiming at one of these two points to attack this stone. Problem number 44. White stones up at the top here are in pretty weak shape, and they're well within black's sphere of influence. So how does black attack this group? Black's move is the placement here. And similar to before, this is a key point exposing this cut. If white defends the cut by going here, then black's gonna push exposing this cut. White will play here to connect and black will simply link underneath. Now white does not have any eyes and needs to run. If instead of blocking from this way, if white attaches on this side, then black's going to do the one space jump here. If white wedges, then black will Atari these two stones and capture this one. White will have to connect or lose them. And then black will play here reducing white's eye space. Now white does not have two eyes in this position and so again will have to run to the center. If black doesn't do the placement and tries to reduce the eye space directly, white will block. And then if black tries to remove the one eye by attarring here, white will force it. Black will have to capture. And then white will play here, and now white is alive. Problem number 46. How should black attack white's four stones here? Black's move is to play the capping move here. This prevents white from jumping and running into the center, making shape. If white plays here to connect, then black will play the knight's move, sealing white in. If white does not connect there and tries to get into the center by attaching like this, then black is going to go there himself and expose this cutting point. Uh, white will cut it off, black will play here, now white is without eyes, and black has a nice thick position over here. If black does the passive thing and defends his corner, then white's going to jump into the center. And now white has a good strong fighting chance. Problem number 52. White's two stones down here are pretty weak, but they do have some Aji with this group over here. So how does black attack these two stones? Black's move is to play the Iron Peeler here. This prevents white from attaching and forces white to escape by playing something like this. And then black's going to shoulder hit white stone here. Uh, white is going to try to make some shape and threaten to connect. Black will prevent the connection. Uh, white will come back to make some shape and then black will play the placement here. When black plays here, white is eyeless and is going to have a hard time trying to escape because this is all of black's sphere of influence. So white is going to struggle really hard to live, if not outright die. Instead of making the iron pillar, if black tries to seal in directly and immediately, then white's going to attach here and take black's point. Because if black honeys, white's going to honey back. And this is going to give white enough Aji to make Sabaki and live on the side here. Problem number 61. Black stones are really thick here and whites are pretty weak. How does black attack these white stones? Black's move is to play in the second line here. And if white pushes, black will back off and eventually connect over here. 
but the point of this is to remove white's potential for eyes here. If white tries to escape by playing the honey, black will honey back. Uh, white can honey back trying to get out. Black is strong enough to honey another time. White's gonna honey over here trying to make some shape. And then cut, forcing black to connect. And then white will descend again trying to make some shape. Black will Atari the single stone. But white doesn't have enough time to save the stone. So white's gonna try to escape with a move like this. Black's gonna push up. And then white needs to start a co with this move. Starting with this capture. Now white is defined and again white cannot live outright up in here. So white needs to fight this co. Unfortunately white doesn't have any co threats. So white is gonna lose this. If instead of playing this sequence here starting with this move and black plays the shape looking point of this then white is going to hane and push out but since black stone is not in the right spot these two moves become miai so if black ends up playing this one now white's going to jump out and get into the center now if black plays this move to try and seal white in then white will play here and make two eyes um, if instead of these two moves if black peeps at this cut White again will Hane, threaten to make life in the corner, and then play this move. And again, White has two eyes in this position. Because if Black comes and captures the stone here, then White's going to jump here. And if Black plays there himself, then White's going to descend. And again, White has two eyes now. Problem number 81. How should Black attack White's group in the right side here? Black should do the capping move similar to the other base type caps. And if white pushes through, then black's going to turn here, threatening to link up with his stone here and capturing these stones. So white to prevent that will turn with him. And then black will do the knight's move, sealing white in. So white's still going to have to struggle and try to live here. If not, try to escape in the center. If instead of pushing through, white does the shoulder hit here, then black is going to poke at this shape a little bit. White will need to maintain connection. White is okay with giving up the stone, so Black will take it. White will descend, threatening to go in the corner, and Black will block. If White attaches, Black will throw in and force capture, and then Black will capture the single stone himself. White, to get a little bit more space in the center, will shoulder hit and respond. Now Black is going to poke at this shape, forcing White to connect, and then to secure some of his stones and to surround White some more, Black will play here. And to maintain connection, white will play here. Again, looking at what black got out of all of this, black secured territory up here, as well as the corner, made this base really, really stable, and white effectively got one eye and has some access to the center. Now, black has the option here to immediately try to attack it somewhere by sealing in with a move like this. However, black also has this invasion, as well as this poke, and black may want to do these invasions first before trying to seal it in. But the point is that, again, after attacking, white really didn't get anything out of this where black solidified all of his positions. Which means that now he can come and invade over here because he has no weak groups on the board. Another variation of this, if white does the knight's move instead of the shoulder hit, then black is going to block from this way and then escape into the center. Black's going to come back to fix some shape. White will attach here, forcing Black to respond. The reason White attaches here is to defend against this sequence. If White plays elsewhere now, or let's say jump, then Black can push in here. White will have to defend and then Black can attach here. And now White's group is separated. If White tries to connect, he'll cut it off or cut it off. And these can't go anywhere because it's just connected immediately. So in order to defend against this move of Black's, White needs to attach here, and that fixes the shape. Black will extend here and poke at this a little bit. Now black stones are really strong here, blacks are strong down here and here again. So white made a little bit of shape, but black definitely got the better end of the deal here.